Welcome back. Now, in the last video, you set up your learning cycle and you're now ready to make your individual goals for that cycle. And when you talk about goals and you talk about plan, to me, there are two types of goals. There are regulatory goals and there are personal, professional goals. Regulatory goals are the CPD you almost have to do to tick boxes, but which is useful. While personal goals are things that you do because you personally want to develop and you learn for that reason as well. So in this part video, we're going to focus on regulatory goals. And this is because if you followed the instructions from the last video, then all the regulatory goals are already in your intelligent PDP. So here it is. Let's go back to the intelligent PDP. Now here's a reminder, you set your learning cycle and I said all these goals were in your intelligent PDP. Now the, let's, before we set the goals, let's just look at the GDC's template. It's good, but it could be improved. The first thing is piece of paper. And anything else on paper can get lost or put in a file and not looked at, etc. You want something that you're actively visiting. Something that is always there because the PDP is a dynamic document. It didn't have learning needs. And in stage three, we talked about how important learning needs are. You have to remember everything. If you have to put a date by which you'll make your plan or anything like that, you have to remember it. The goals you make are difficult to make them smart. If you make a goal, and what if you do more than one course to achieve it? This one says you make a plan and it's assuming you'll, how will you achieve this goal? Well, you might have about four methods to achieve it. You've got to have a way where more than one course can be ticked across a goal. More importantly, how do you measure progress? If you've said, I'm going to do two hours of this work, how do you know where you are? This plan doesn't give you any indication of progress. And then reflections. Reflections, again, need another piece of paper. So we're going to start addressing all these things as we start making our goals and all the other stuff. So you've gone to your intelligent PDP, click on goals and targets, and then click on manage goals and targets. Now I told you, when you set your learning cycle, all these goals were automatically there. And as you scroll up and down, you'll be able to see them there. Therefore, they're already in your plan. All we have to do is just modify them and write some things down which are individualized, personalized to you. And together, we're going to do the one of basic life support. So you click on that arrow on the right side, it goes down and you click on edit this goal. Now you will see the goal there. And I'm going to show you how this matches with the GDC's template. So first thing it says is name of your goal. So enter the goal. It's already there. The name's already there, basic life support. But you might say, I'm going to call it basic life support and medical emergencies. Now that ticks the GDC's first question, which is what do I need to learn or maintain for this cycle? We've given it a goal name, but it's the same question. Then the second part is where you say, how many minutes of this are you going to do? All the ears of your learning cycle are there. Now you remember my learning cycle, I put as 2018 to 2023. So all those boxes are there. Now for basic life support, medical emergencies, we know we have to do two hours every year, 10 hours over the five year period. So I put it as 120 minutes. Remember this, everything on tubules works in minutes. But you just put there 120 minutes each year. Now here's the exciting thing. Now the template has nothing to do with time. So this is an extra tick box we have and it meets the Sparta principles better. I'll tell you about those as we progress on. The next thing to tick is, what learning methods do you want to use to achieve this? You might tick, I'll do some of it online. I know I have to do some of it with a hands-on workshop. So you tick what it you feel comfortable with, which learning method you feel will help you achieve this goal better. Again, another GDC question ticked. 
how are you going to meet this learning or how are you going to achieve this learning? Then you go ahead and put the topic that this goal attaches to. Now the intelligent PDP has already assigned that topic to you because it knows that this goal matches this topic. And then here's the smart thing. Not only has it assigned the topic to you, so topics is another added bonus, which other templates don't have, but the intelligent PDP now captures your learning method, captures the topic so that every time we put up a video, a study club, and soon a course, you will be pinged and messaged. So all you then have to go is go and do that CPD. Now do you see, if you had a piece of paper, you have to go remember, what was my goal? The intelligent PDP remembers your goal and just pings you the messages so you get your CPD done. How relevant, how smart, how proactive of us to do that. Go ahead, let's finish that goal. The next question it asks is what high level outcome does this meet for you? Now, in my first video of the enhanced CPD, I told you about the four high level outcomes. So you click outcome C. And that's another question on the General Dental Council's template we've ticked off. Then the next question it asks is, what does this goal or how does this goal relate to your field of practice? And I've written something down there, you can copy and paste it. That's another box ticked from the GDC's template. And then the, la the question just after that is that how is this goal going to benefit your practice and or your work? Now this is an important question, but in the next video, I'll, when I talk about smarter goals, I will tell you why this question is important. But in essence, it takes another one of the questions on the GDC's template. When you answer this goal, there are three uh, specific questions you answer to get your goal really objective. But I'll tell you that in the next section, because right now I want to show you how you go through the goal setting form and then the last three questions what learning need does this address now you remember we made a learning need in section three stage three well write that down because this relates if somebody says why did you make this plan you can justify it from the learning need this is why the learning need section was important because it relates to your goal and then you go ahead and put the date of review i would normally suggest putting this end of the year not the end of your cycle, so that you can review it and change the date if you need to. But when you put a date review, Intelligent PDP kicks in again. I think one month before the date review and on the day, it sends you a reminder that your goal is due for review. So if you haven't achieved that CPD, you can go ahead and address that need. Do you see why the Intelligent PDP is so proactive? Because it's remembering all these things for you. And the GDC's template asks about when you will achieve this goal. So that box is ticked as well. And the match learning need is ticked. Now look at that. So the intelligent PDP is ticking all the boxes of the GDC's template and more. It's putting things about time, putting things about matching it to your learning need and putting the topics so we can ping you the relevant CPD. This is why you can develop a successful intelligent PDP on tubules. And then you go ahead and save it. That's your regulatory goal saved. And if you want to know all about all the other regulatory goals, here is another paper which tells you all the goals and roughly how many hours per year you should do to make sure you're doing them on a regular basis. Now, I've made this myself. The ones on top which are red are GDC recommended subjects and the hours are definitely what they suggest. The ones in green are also GDC's recommended subjects but the hours have been suggested by other documents or other bodies. The rest of them is the hours we feel would be useful for you to do on a regular basis. But doing that and achieving this, you will find that over a period of f five years, you'll have done 75 hours of CPD. How much more is left to do the rest? Not a lot. So it's really cool. And you've now made a regulatory goal. So go ahead and modify as many regulatory goals as you want on your intelligent PDP. What's interesting is if you go into your progress section, you will see them there. 
you'll see your goals and you'll see red lights with 0% because you've just made your plan, you haven't started meeting these goals. So isn't that smart? We are measuring your progress as well. Go on then, amend another regulatory goal or all of them as you wish. Because to me, that's the next stage, 4B completed. Congratulations, you've amended a regulatory goal and prepared yourself. In the next video, we'll start talking about personal goals and I'm going to go through all those questions in a lot more detail because I want to now show you some important things about answering those questions. I hope this has been useful. Congratulations on starting your planning process.